G'day, my name is Lloyd Grolleman. I'm the Aussie Pastor and welcome to Sunrise, a time out with Jesus for just a couple of minutes every day of the week. Colossians chapter 3, verse 15. And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. Colossians 3.15, always, always be thankful. Edward Spencer lived a while ago, early part of the 1900s, actually. He lived on Lake Michigan and he was part of a life-saving team. So that's an important job. Now, I don't know much about Lake Michigan, but apparently it's this huge lake in North America. In fact, Ocean liners, that's right. These massive ships ply their trade on this big lake and it's known for storms, that's right. It can just blow up in an instant. And one winter night, dead winter, cold, snow, ice, one of these ships, a passenger ship, runs aground. Now, when it runs aground, it's near Edward's life-saving station. It's his job with the other lifesavers to go out and try and save the people, save their lives. They're perishing. And he was a hero that night because he swam out from the shore in the cold, the ice and the snow. Got to understand what's going on here. He swam out 17 times and saved 17 precious lives. A hero. In fact, the ice and the cold and the snow affected him so much that he became an invalid for the rest of his life. He lived quite a long life afterwards. Well, he's at, everyone's at the funeral. And there's Edward in the casket. And they're reflecting what he did so many years ago, saving all these people. And someone said, those people who he saved must have been so thankful. And there was someone who was quite close to Edward, family member, scratching their head. And they said, you know what? I don't think a single person came back and said thanks. Colossians chapter 3, verse 15. And always be thankful. Are you thankful? Do you remember people for their kindness? Do you remember God for Jesus? Do you thank him? How can I develop a thankful heart? It's a good question, isn't it? I want to challenge you today as you go out into life. Number one, thank God for Jesus. Do that in prayer today. And number two, look for someone that you can thank for their kindness to you. Ah, It'll make their day and it'll help make yours. Let's pray. Father in heaven, give us a spirit of thankfulness. Help us to see the kindness, not just of you, our great God, in sending Jesus, but the kindness of others and to thank them and to recognize it, I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. My name is Lloyd Grolleman, an Aussie pastor, and I love you. I do, but not like Jesus does. See you next time. Mm-hmm.